practitioner that will be with you, uh, giving you some classes, and it will be a pleasure to help you increase your knowledge about it. So that's all. Very good, Ruben. Okay, that's Ruben. Ruben is going to be helping us in, in the classes, right? He's a teacher, he's a teacher. So he, he's almost finishing the major in English, okay? It's almost finished. Now, um, so I hope you get along well, right? Take Ruben as your friend. Ask whatever you want to ask to Ruben. It's going to be helping me, okay? So, a Ruben lo voy a agregar al grupo. Ya. Él ya tiene las habilidades de un teacher, as me, right? Como yo. Entonces, él le va a estar apoyando a ustedes y a mí también. A ustedes, si tienen alguna duda en los trabajos que yo voy dejando y todo eso, pues ahí está Rubén. Utilicen a Rubén. Úsenlo como ustedes quieran. Right? <ríe> Pregúntenle. <ríe> Rubén les va a contestar. ¿Ya? Sí, pues, si Rubén tendrá alguna duda ahí o algo, que no creo, pero si llega a suceder, me va a preguntar a mí. Así que así vamos a estar trabajando. Right? Ustedes le preguntan a Rubén y Rubén les ayudará ahí en sus trabajos en sus tareas, ¿ok? Lo voy a agregar al grupo el día de hoy después de esta conferencia. Entonces, uh, Ada, before we start, with ya explicando el tema que corresponde para hoy, Ada, can, can you tell me how are you? Yeah, I, I want to know how are you, Ada. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ada. Hello. How are you, Ada? Good? Good. Oh, okay, perfect. That's nice to hear. And what about you, Jeanette? Jeanette, what about you? How are you? Jeanette? Hello. Jeanette, can you hear me? Um, I guess Jeanette is having problems with the internet because she got disconnected. <coughs> okay, she got disconnected. So we are going to move on on the class right now. I'm going to share the content. I'm going to share the presentation for today's class. Let me just move my camera because I mean, okay, perfect. Damaris is coming again. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to, ah, oh, 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 Jennifer is here with us already, right? Jennifer Diaz. Ah, Jennifer Diaz uh, is another practitioner. She's going to be working with us as well, right? She's going to be helping me and helping you people, okay? So Jennifer, can you please introduce yourself? Turn on your camera so you can start. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Diaz. I am 21 years old and I, it's a pleasure for me to work with us and espero que nos ayudemos mutuamente. And finally, I wanna say thank you, mister, for the opportunity to support you and support me in my teaching practice. My pleasure, Jennifer, okay? So welcome, Jennifer. Uh, she's going to be working with us as well. You can use Jennifer, whatever you want. You can ask her whatever you want, okay? So Ruben and Jennifer are going to be helping us, okay? Ellos dos nos están ayudando. Ustedes pueden preguntarles lo que quieran, right? Eh, acerca de la clase. Ellos les van a ayudar, les van, les van a, este, a responder preguntas que ustedes tengan sobre las actividades, etcétera, ¿ok? Jennifer también va a estar haciendo lo mismo que Rubén. Eh, y en su momento ella me va a ayudar a explicar alguna que otra parte de alguna clase, ¿ok? Así es de que ahí están. Lo voy a, la voy a agregar al grupo también a partir de hoy al finalizar esta clase. Ahora sí, comencemos con el content. Con el contenido de la clase, my friends. Oh, where is myself, Mida? 
Okay, that's me. Okay, let me just do something here. I'm doing some tricks with my computer. <coughs> Okay, perfect. So everyone, everyone in this video conference, this is unit number two, right? And we are going, we're starting unit number two today. And we're going to be talking about local destinations this time, okay? Local destinations, that's the name of the unit. Now the contents, we are going to talk about tourist place in El Salvador, tourist places in El Salvador, we're going to talk about Coatepeque Lake activities to do there, right? So we're going to learn how, how to say the activities that we can do in, in a touristic place here in El Salvador, right? Uh, we're going to talk about Tunco and activities that we can do over there. And then I'm going to explain you how to make a travel magazine. Then you're going to pick up your topic, choose a title and choose your cover article, right? So basically you are going, the activity for this week for this week is that you are going to make a travel magazine okay that's the main activity and i'm going to show you how and i'm going to show you what it includes okay what it has um it includes for example featured articles a cover image a mash head body articles and graphics as well right i'm going to explain each of those elements to you but first of all, I have this question here. Which are the most attractive tourist destinations in El Salvador, right? Can you mention at least one of these tourist attractions, right? Or tourist destinations that we have in El Salvador? Which one do you think is the most attractive, the most attractive destination here in El Salvador? Put it on the comment section, please. Go to the comment section and write it down there. En la sesión de comentarios de los leo, chicos. Váyanse ahí y posteen ahí. What is the most attractive destina tourist destination in El Salvador for you? Okay, la que ustedes crean más attractive. Que ustedes piensen, esta es la tourist destination más attractive que tenemos. Ya, pónganlo en los comentarios. Eh, todos. Posteen la que ustedes crean. Lo voy a leer a todos. Dice Marcela El Tunco Beach. Okay, perfect. That's one of the most famous. Esa es una de las más famosas. Yes. This is Jennifer Ruta de las Flores as well. That's a very famous destination, Jennifer. <clears throat> uh huh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. The others. Joanna. Nayeli, okay. Nayeli says Coatepeque Lake. That's one of the most beautiful places, right? That's the one of the most beautiful places we have in El Salvador. Tell me, Lee, yeah. I didn't hear you. Repeat, please. I'm sorry. Joanna, you. Did you tell me to... something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, if you can post, I mean, the most um, attractive tourist destination that we have here in El Salvador. Right, that's, that's what we're doing just now. You can go to the comment section and you can post it that right there. Ah, okay. Okay, perfect. Damaris said, Lago de Coatepeque, that's good, Damaris. It's one of the most uh, famous, El Boquerón as well. I never gone there. I never been there, I guess. <laughs> I never been at El Boquerón. Termos del Rio, said Josue. That's a very famous place as well. Sushi Toto, said Joanna. I never, I never been there, Joanna, but I heard it's a beautiful place. I guess I will go one of these days. <laughs> okay, uh huh. People, who's missing? Nayeli, you already did it. Nayeli, you already, ah, yeah. Nayeli said, now go out to break a lay, right? Mm hmm. Tamaris as well. Okay, Joanna, who's missing, man? Nobody's missing. Nayeli, Jennifer, Marcella, Jeanette, and Josue already did as well, Joanna, and the Maris. Okay, perfect. That's it. Okay, I guess nobody's missing, but the Maris. She's the only one, but she's having problems with the internet connection. So let's see. I'm going to right now. So that's the most famous destination for you, right? I guess um one of the most famous destinations here in El Salvador that is known internationally 
internationally is Coatepeque Lake, right? That destination is known internationally. It, it was going to be named one of the world wonders, right? One of the world wonders. Una de las maravillas del mundo. It, 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 uh, it participated to be selected one of the world wonders, right? So it's known internationally. It's one of the most famous and one of the most attractive destinations that El Salvador has. Let's keep on moving. <clears throat> Central America, right? We're going to talk about Central America right now. It says Central America. It says American right here. I made a mistake there. Okay. So I'm going to remove this letter N right here because that's a mistake. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Central America has a little bit of something for everyone, for everyone, from relaxing and the sun to mountain hikes and forest explorations. Check out what El Salvador has to offer, right? So in Central America, basically we have everything that we want, okay? Everything. We got beaches, we got uh, the forest, we got everything in Central America. Now, what is the greatest tourist place in El Salvador? Okay, tell me right now, go to the comment section again, right? Go to the comment section again and tell me for you, right? For you, for you. What is the greatest, the greatest tourist place in El Salvador for you? That you say, okay, this is the place that I love the most. This is the place that I like the most. Which one is that? Which one is that? Mm -hmm. Go to the comment section and tell me which is the greatest place here in El Salvador. <clears throat> for you. Come on, I'm waiting. Uh huh. I'm waiting, my people. <clears throat> Greatest place for you in El Salvador? Greatest place for you in El Salvador? People, niggas, my friends. <laughs> Are you following me? Ada, Damaris, Jeanette, Joanna, Josue, Marcela, Nayeli. The Cameroon said Josue. Okay, for you, Ruben, that's the Cameroon. Ah, that, that's difficult to decide, Maniga. Because, I mean, the Cameroon, yes, it's one of the greatest places here in the Salvador, I guess. Right? But it is Coatepeca Lake, I guess, for me, right? So, I don't know which place to decide. I mean, it can be quite the Pekka Lake, it can be the Cameroon. <laughs> I haven't taken my decision yet. I haven't taken my decision. So let me see here. Coatepeque Lake, Lago de Coatepeque, the Nuevo Lago de Coatepeque. Very good. Marcela, Jeanette, and Nayeli. Also Ruben, also Ruben, right? So what what do the others think? ¿Qué piensan los demás? What do the others think? El Pital for the... Ah, yeah, that's right. El Pital is one of the greatest places here in El Salvador. That's, that's right, Damaris. Very good. Somebody else? <coughs> somebody. Somebody, somebody. Okay, Ada, Jeanette. Jeanette. Ah, Jeanette already participated. Sorry, Jeanette. Huh? Puerta del Diablo. I've been there. Yeah, Puerta del Diablo is a very beautiful place, but uh, I don't think it's one of the greatest in El Salvador. But uh, if, if that's what you think, the Maris, that's good. I mean, if that is one of the greatest places for you, that's nice. Okay. Now, tell me, tell me, people, my friends, what makes that place unique? Okay. What makes that place unique? That is the, the other question. What makes that place unique? I mean, you can, you can tell me that, 
uh, I will give you the chance if you want to do it in English or Spanish. That would be great. Okay, you can do it in English or Spanish. The question is, what makes that place unique? O sea, el lugar que ustedes me dijeron, quiero que me digan qué es lo que lo hace único a ese lugar. Pueden participar en inglés o en español, right? Marcela said, the color of the water, right? It changes. Very good. Marcela said, Coatepeque Lake, and that's right. The color of the water changes. Yeah, it's cambia totalmente, the color of the water. Very good, Marcela. Coatepeque Lake has that uh, characteristic, right? It's weather and it's vital, right? Excellent, Damaris. ¿Qué es lo que lo hace unique? It's weather. It's very cold in there. It's very cold. But it's very, it's a very nice place like to, to uh, make a fire and start talking to your friends, right? It's, it's a great place for camping, for camping. Uh-huh. Somebody else? <coughs> The endless food in the Cameroon. Very good, Ruben. The endless food. So you prefer that place because you can eat as much as you want, <laughs> as much as you please, right? Very good. Yeah, that's right. In the Cameroon, you can eat as much as you want. <laughs> Very good. The Turkish color of the water and the views in that place, said Nayeli. The Turkish color and the views, right? El panorama, the views, and the turquoise color, el color turquesa. Very good, Nayeli. Excellent. Okay, now tell me. Berlin, very good, uh, Ada. So Ada, one of the greatest places for Ada is Berlin. And the, the oh, very good, the viewpoints son lo como lo más bonito de Berlin, los miradores, los viewpoints, the viewpoints. Very good, Ada. This is it, Damaris. At the Devil's Gate, the landscape. Wow, yeah, that's that's right. The devil, the Devil's Gate, it has a very nice view from the landscape. That's right, that's right. It's perfect. Okay, the other question is, what can tourists do there? In the place that you already mentioned, the place that you already told me, right? I want you to tell me what can tourists do there? I mean, the activities that they can perform over there, okay? So for example, in Coatepeque Lake, what can tourists do there? Activities, which are the activities that I, as a tourist, can do in Coatepeque Lake? <clears throat> Tell me in the comments, please. Go ahead. Okay, very good. So you can use motor bots. You can use motor bots, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good, aquatic sports. Excellent, like, like motor bots, for example, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hiking, camping. Okay, that, that's in El Pital, right, Damaris? In El Pital, you can do hiking and you can do camping as well. Caminatas, acampar, very good. I like it. I like it. Excellent. So let me just keep on moving here. Thanks for your participations, right? You did it excellent. Let me just keep on moving here. Next place. Okay, Coatepeque Lake. I'm going to do myself a smaller so you can see that. I'm going to move right here to the right. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, Coatepeque Lake. Um, can you, um, Ruben, help me out read this uh, paragraph, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, Coatepeque Lake. Coatepeque Lake or Caldera Coatepeque is a lake located in the air volcanic crater. It's uh, 10 miles in diameter, and it is one of the largest lakes in El Salvador, forming nearly uh, 
74, 72, I mean, thousands of years ago was a series of violent eruptions and volcanic collapse. What remains today is one of the country's most beautiful natural sites. Very good, Ruben. Thank you very much for your, for your helping me out. Okay, so what I have there, right, it's information, general information about Coatepeque Lake, right? It is as well called Caldera Coatepeque. It says it's located in the heart of a volcanic crater. So basically, I mean, most of the lakes, la mayoría de los lakes son volcanic craters, right? Yo creo que ustedes ya sabían eso, y si no lo sabían, pues ahí está. The most of the lakes are volcanic craters. Siempre son cráteres, la mayoría. Ahora bien, it says it's 10 miles in diameter and it's one of the largest lakes in El Salvador. No, los más grandes. For nearly 72,000 years ago. 72,000 años atrás. ¿Cómo se formó? By a violent, by, I'm sorry, by a series of violent eruptions and volcanic collapses, right? Un montón de erupciones y todo eso. What remains today is one of the country's most beautiful natural sites. Okay, una de las maravillas naturales más geniales que tenemos en El Salvador, Guatepeque Lake. Okay, esa es general information. ¿Por qué les estoy mostrando esta general information a ustedes? Porque en la magazine que vamos a hacer, obviamente ustedes, si van a mencionar un lugar así, tienen que como describir de una forma corta su historia, algo así como lo estoy haciendo ahorita con el Coatepeque Lake. Ok, este es un ejemplo. Vamos a pasar a otro ejemplo right here. Tenemos, ok, ya, ya, ya sabemos qué es Coatepeque Lake, un poquito de su historia que nos despertó la atención. Ahora vamos a ver, dice Coatepeque Lake, activities to do. The activities that we can do right there in Coatepeque Lake. Jennifer, can you help me out reading this slide, please? Yes. Coatepeque okay. Lake. Activities to do. Pristine waters make the ideal condition for swimming, and a range of water sports are available from jet skiing and scuba diving to fishing and aquatic bicycling. Other lakes activity includes a ferry ride to the Tio Pan Island uh, in the lake center, motorboat excursion and lake tours running for 20 half hours to 50 for full lake tours and admission to take to lake itself if very good thank you very much jennifer okay so you see okay the activities that we can do there i'm i'm gonna just uh signed out this for you we can do jack skiing as cuba diving, fishing, aquatic bicycling, a ferry ride to Teopan Island, which is an island that is in the middle of the lake, right? We can do motorboat excursions and we can as well do lake tours, right? Lake tours are $20, half an hour or $50 full lake tours, okay? So basically, these are the activities that we can do over there in Coatepeque Lake, okay? Um, if Take a look to this, right? En una magazine, no vamos a poner como que las activities así en, en, en una lista, right? En a list. Sino que lo vamos a hacer como en un párrafo, describiéndolas así como están acá, okay? <coughs> describiéndolas de esta manera. Esa es la manera en la que describimos las actividades a los turistas, right? Que se pueden hacer en una magazine. Ok, very good. Vamos a continuar aquí. Let me see. Ok, and we have this now. Why is El Tunco so attractive to tourists? What's the greatest attraction in El Tunco? What do you think, my people, is the greatest attraction in El Tunco? Post it on the comment section, please. What is the greatest attraction in El Tunco? 
Uh huh. What is the greatest attraction? <clears throat> Restaurants. Very good, Jennifer. Restaurants. They say Joanna surfing, surfing. Very nice. That's. I guess it's the greatest attraction. Surfing. Yeah, surfing is the greatest. <laughs> the rock. <laughs> the rock said the money is. The pick rock, que, que, que de pick no tiene nada. Yo no le veo el pick ahí, pero, pero bueno. The amazing sunset for Ruben. Yeah, it's an amazing sunset over there. Mm -hmm. Joanna said surfing. Las olejas para practicar surf. Oh, la, la, los oleajes. Los oleajes, very good. <laughs> Very good. So I guess I guess my people and I agree with Nayeli and uh, Joanna, I guess. See si, Joanna, yes. I agree with them. The greatest attraction in El Tunco is surfing. Right? The beach is an idea place for surfing. Eso es indiscutible. Es prácticamente una de las mejores playas de surf, no del país, sino del mundo. Right? El Tunco. Por eso es que muchos turistas vienen acá, muchas personas que les gusta practicar surf, vienen acá solo para ir a surfear en esa playa, que es una de las mejores para surf del mundo. ¿Ok? De hecho, esa es una de las, aparte del Coatepeque Lake, que es bastante conocido internacionalmente, el Tunco también es bastante conocido internacionalmente por eso. ¿Ok? Es one of the greatest attractions in El Salvador. Espérenme, que va un camión ahí haciendo un frío. <risa> ya pasó, ya pasó. <coughs> Vaya. Sigámosle entonces. <coughs> Tenemos aquí un overview del Tunco. ¿ay? Y para esto le voy a pedir a mi estimado Rubén que se eche la lectura ahí. Dale, Rubén. <coughs> ok. El Tunco es uno de los más popular of the north coastal towns for tourists. Named after the peak shape rock locator of its coast. The second one too? Yeah. Okay. Be because El Tunco is such a popular tourist spot, <laughs> it's also a great place to meet other travelers and exchange stories it offers plenty of boutique shops, restaurants, and coffees or cafes, as well as planetary of entertainment options. Thank you, Ruben. Okay, so this is an overview about Tunco, right? Well, Tunco is one of the most popular in the northern coast uh, for tourists. And, and that mentions the thing about the rock, right? The pig shaped rock. And as well, it's popular, it says, for the activities, right? We have a plethora of entertainment options right there. Plethora means a lot of options, okay? That's the meaning of plethora. So we have our shops, restaurants, and cafes, right? And this, this little introduction, this uh, introduction that I have here about Dunco is missing one of the most important things that is surfing, okay? <laughs> I missed out that. I missed out that. Me faltó eso. Falta eso. But yeah, El Tunco is great for surfing, of course. So, este es otro ejemplo que les estoy poniendo de, de una introducción que acerca de un tourist place que podría ir en una magazine. Vamos a ver, El Tunco, activities to do. Jennifer, help me out, please. <coughs> El Tunco, activities to do. El Tunco is craggy, powerful region, not conducive to the swimming, but a surfer dreams come true. For those looking to these waters, surf classes and board retails are available through local surf shops. Very good, Jennifer. Okay, we have here the most important thing that I was mentioning, which is surfing, okay? So El Tunco is a craggy powerful region, said Jennifer, right? not conducted to swimming okay so that is not El Tunco is not a place for swimming really uh, in reality it's a place for surfing that's why a lot of tourists go to that place right so the, the, that i i talk about 
only one activity here, which is surfing, because that is the that that is why El Tunco is known internationally, nationally and internationally. Okay. So and take a look again, and I'm gonna say this again. Eh, siempre la actividad no se pone como en una lista, sino que se describe en un párrafo. Ok, las actividades que se pueden hacer ahí. Este es otro ejemplo de lo que se puede poner. Si se fijan, ponemos una descripción eh, del lugar, pero no una descripción como describiéndolo generalmente, sino un overview. De quizás en el caso del Coatepec de Pequeley, de cómo se formó ese lugar y todo, un, un poquito de historia, por así llamarlo, del lugar, un poquito de historia. Ya, luego pues les decimos a los turistas las cosas que ellos pueden hacer ahí, de lo que pueden disfrutar ahí, en ese lugar. ¿Ok? Eso es una travel magazine. Y aquí tenemos esta parte que dice how to make a travel magazine. Right? How to make a travel magazine. Y tenemos aquí eight steps, ocho pasos. El primero es pick your topic. O sea, seleccionar sobre qué va a ser la revista. Ya, yo digo, o, obviamente la revista en este caso va a ser acerca, acerca de travel, right? Acerca de tourism, acerca de turismo. Ok, ese es el topic general, tourism, turismo. Luego dice, choose a title, seleccionar un título. Ok, sí, la revista de turismo, pero a la revista no le vamos a poner tourism, right? Sino que le vamos a poner un título. Por ejemplo, a esta que ustedes ven acá, eh, el título que tiene es travel path. Así le decidieron poner travel path, como ejemplo. Y luego ahí abajo dice business, culture, and travel. Eh, también como en la parte del encabezado del título, ¿ok? Luego el punto 4 dice decide. Perdón, perdón, el punto 3 dice choose your cover article. Van a elegir un artículo de todos los artículos que van en la revista, que es como el principal, el que más llama la atención para que a los turistas le den ganas de leer esa revista de turismo. Ok, voy a hacer una pausa aquí porque ya casi se va a cerrar esta sesión. Ya, por favor, vuelva, vuelvan a entrar en el momento. Sí, lo voy a cancelar ahorita, vuelvan a entrar rápido. Ya solo les explico la parte esta de la revista, que es lo que ustedes van a hacer. en we are done. Y ahí terminamos, ok. Entonces voy a cerrar y volvemos a entrar, please.